द क्वेश्चन इज फॉलोइंग इज द बैलेंस शीट ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई आज आर थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन हु आर पार्टनर्स इन ए फार्म शेयरिंग प्रॉफिट एंड लॉसेस इन द रेशियो ऑफ थ्री इज टू टू रेस्पेक्टिवली द लास्ट पैसेज टेल्स हस यू आर रिक्वायर्ड टू पास जर्नल एंट्रीज प्रिपेयर रिवल्युएसन अकाउंट पार्टनर्स कैपिटल एंड करेन्ट अकाउंट एंड द बालांस शीट ऑफ द न्यू फार्म Here it is working notes. Old ratio of x is to y is equal to three is to two. New ratio of x is to y is to z is equal to four is to three is to two. It is given in the question on point five of the adjustment. Sacrificing ratio is equal to old ratio minus new ratio. Excess sacrifice old share three by five minus new share four by nine. That is equal to LCM forty five five three nine three zero twenty seven minus five four zero twenty. That is equal to LCM seven upon forty five. Wise sacrifice that is two by five minus three by nine. That is equal to LCM forty five nine to the eighteen minus five three to the fifteen. That is three by forty five. Therefore, the sacrificing ratio of x is to y is equal to seven is to three. Valuation of goodwill. Goodwill under average profit method. Is equal to average profit per year multiplied by years purchase. That is equal to total profit by total years multiplied by years purchase. That is equal to rupees ninety thousand is the profit of first year, and that of rupees seventy eight thousand is the profit of the second year, and in the third year the profit is rupees seventy five thousand divided by three years. We will have average profit multiplied by two years purchase. That is equal to rupees one lakh sixty two thousand. Z share of a goodwill is equal to rupees one lakh sixty two thousand multiplied by two by nine. Two ninth is the share of Z that is equal to rupees thirty six thousand. Then is your revaluation account. You have to draw a proper format of a revaluation account. And the first item being to provision for doubtful debts. That is. A part provision for doubtful debt is to be maintained at five percent and debtors. Debtors is sixty thousand. Five percent of this is three thousand, and twenty four thousand is the twenty four hundred is the provision for doubtful debts. Now it will be five percent of sixty thousand. That is will be five thousand three thousand. Hence, twenty four hundred is the old provision. New provision will be three thousand. Hence, increase in provision for doubtful debts is rupees six hundred. Then the next one is to outstanding rent. Here, B part outstanding rent amounted to rupees fifteen thousand. To outstanding rent, rent is already fifteen thousand. Hence, increase in liability is an expenditure or loss to the farm. Hence, it is debited to profit and loss account. Next item is your accrued income. That is C part. An accrued income of forty five hundred does not appear in the books of the farm. It is to be recorded. Accrued income is asset increased. We have not accounted for some income. That is not now accrued and it is payable to us, but we have not got us. We have not got that payment. Hence, by accrued income, increase in asset or increase in income or increase in accrued income, income receivable. It will be shown in the asset side of the balance sheet. Next one is to investments. It is D part. X takes over the investments at an agreed value of rupees eighteen thousand. Previously, investment was appearing at twenty four thousand. It is to be taken over by X at 
rupees eighteen thousand. That is twenty four thousand was the investments. Twenty four thousand. Now it is brought down to eighteen thousand, and it was given to X. Hence, decrease in the value of investment or uh, loss to the farm or expenditure to the farm is rupees six thousand. To investments six thousand. The next one is totaling of this uh, debit side. We'll take it to the credit side, and we'll be writing by current accounts revaluation loss transferred in old ratio of x is to y that is equal to three is to two. Hence x will be getting this difference is the loss. That is twenty-one thousand six hundred minus four thousand five hundred. That is seventeen thousand one hundred. Will be distributed among x and y in the ratio of three is to two, three by five and two by five. In case of y, I have written three by five. It should be two by five. Rupees seventeen thousand one hundred multiplied by three by five, and for y it is two by five. The amount of loss to be debited to each partner is. Rupees ten thousand two hundred sixty, and that of Y is rupees six eight four zero. Now come down to the balance sheet, partner. Sorry, partners' capital accounts and X Y Z. There are three partners, and we have two types of accounts. One is capital, the other one is current. First, we will complete the capital account. We have to draw the complete format and write down by balance brought down. For X, it will be rupees one lakh. Eighty thousand per Y, it is nine rupees ninety thousand. Then the adjust point part Z, F Z will bring in rupees sixty thousand as his capital by check, by bank account. In case of a Z, rupees sixty thousand. Now we have to total the credit side, that is rupees one lakh eighty thousand and ninety thousand and sixty thousand. We will take it to the debit side and we will find out balance carried down. That balance carried down is rupees one lakh eighty thousand for X and ninety thousand for Y and Z rupees sixty thousand. Then partners current accounts. We have credit balance in partners current accounts. That is for X thirty thousand, but that is Y six thousand. By once brought down for X thirty thousand, for Y. Six thousand, and the next one is by premium for goodwill account. We have got this premium for goodwill is thirty-six thousand, and this will be distributed in the ratio of seven is to three, because seven is to three is the sacrificing ratio. Goodwill is always distributed in sacrificing ratio if he has got any premium. That is premium per goodwill account debited to excess capital account to Y's capital account in the seven is to three ratio. Next one is general reserve liability appearing in the second line of the liability side. That is second item. That is general reserve rupees thirty six thousand. This general reserve will be distributed in the ratio of three to two by general reserve. That is rupees twenty one thousand six hundred for X and uh, for Y that is fourteen thousand seven hundred. Then the next one is. Then the next one is revaluation loss. Revaluation loss is debited to partners' capital account in old ratio. That is excess capital account debited rupees ten thousand two hundred sixty and wise capital account debited rupees six eight four zero to revaluation account. Here the revaluation loss is debited to partners' capital account in. Old ratio. Next one is to goodwill account. Goodwill is already appearing in the books in the asset side as the last item, rupees thirty thousand. That is excess capital account debited rupees eighteen thousand. Wise capital account debited rupees twelve thousand. To goodwill account thirty thousand. And the next item is to bank account because. Adjustment is half of the amount of goodwill is to be withdrawn by X and Y. Whatever goodwill has been credited to them by way of a premium per goodwill account, it's a half is to be withdrawn. X capital account debited twelve thousand six hundred, half of rupees twenty five thousand two hundred, and that of Y, 
it is 10,000 has been credited to him and debited will be half that is 5,400. The entry is excess capital account debited rupees 12,600, wise capital account debited rupees 5,400 to bank account 18,000. Now to investments here in the adjustment number D X takes over the investments at an agreed value of 18,000. It is excess capital account debited to investment account 18,000. Then in the credit side that is 76,800 total of X that of Y 31,600 totaling will be shown in the total of this liability debit side to balance carried down that is rupees 17,940 for X for Y rupees 6960. Then your balance sheet come down to the balance sheet. Fair notes first journal entries first journal entries proper format after drawing the format first entry will be bank account debited to Jets capital account 60,000 rupees to premium for a goodwill account 36,000 rupees totaling in the bank account will be 96,000 rupees being premium capital and a premium for goodwill received from Z. this is being capital and premium for goodwill received from Z. the next one being the next one being premium for a goodwill account debited rupees 36,000 that is premium for a goodwill is a first credited then it will be debited for a transfer to current accounts to excess current account to wise current account that is rupees 25,200 for X and for Y 10,800 the narration is being premium money received from new partner transfer to old partners current accounts in sacrificing ratio the next one is being withdrawal half of this goodwill money is withdrawn according to H adjustment half of the amount of goodwill is to be withdrawn by X and Y that is excess current account debited rupees 12,600 and Y's current account debited rupees 5,400 to bank account rupees 18,000 being half of the goodwill money withdrawn by old partners the next one is general reserve is given in the liability side second item general reserve is distributed to partners capital account and it is in the old ratio here the capitals are fixed and hence all the treatments which were supposed to be made in the capital account are to be done in the current account hence general reserve account debited rupees 36,000 to excess current account rupees 21,600 to wise current account rupees 14,400 being general reserve transferred in old ratio next one is excess current account debited to investment account rupees 18,000 both in the debit and credit columns being investments taken over by X this is your adjustment point D X takes over the investments at an agreed value of rupees 18,000 it is excess current account debited to investment account that is in the debit and credit column rupees 18,000 each being investments taken over by X. Next one is your revaluation account debit items. Revaluation account debited rupees 21,600 to provision for doubtful debts rupees 600 because doubtful debts is 2400 already appearing in the books and now it is 3000 60,000 5 percent that is 3000 hence increase in current liability rupees 600 to outstanding rent 15,000 this is B part of adjustment outstanding rent amounted to 15,000 that is increase in liability a loss to the farm then investment decreased by 6000 it was 24,000 it was taken by X at rupees 18,000 hence decrease in the value of investments rupees 6,000 
to investments 6000 being decrease in the value of assets increase in the value of liabilities transferred to revaluation account next one is your accrued income appearing in the life credit side of the revaluation account that is c part an accrued income of rupees 4500 does not appear in the books of the firm it is now to be recorded that is accrued income account debited rupees 4500 to revaluation account rupees 4500 being increase in the value of asset transferred to revaluation account next one is the loss on revaluation transfer to current accounts because the capital are fixed it is excess current account debited rupees 10260 then wise current account debit rupees 6840 old ratio to revaluation account total loss on revaluation 17100 see the answer also being loss on revaluation transfer to old partners capital accounts in old ratio and journal is to be totaled that is rupees 247200 both in the debit column as well as in the credit column then your balance sheet balance sheet as at 1st april 2017 we have assets and rupees symbol and li- al- liabilities and rupees symbol start from the asset side it is asset bank you see in the balance sheet you have a bank balance of 15000 plus capital contribution by z as per adjustment point number f 60000 that is 15000 plus 60000 that is 75000 and plus premium for goodwill brought in by z plus 36000 minus 18000 half is withdrawn that is rupees 93000 then your debtors rupees 60000 less new provision 5% of this 3000 in the final column rupees 57000 next one is your patents rupees 44400 then fixed assets rupees 216000 then the next one is the accrued income that is 4500 increase in asset c part and next one is your liabilities creditors 45000 same old figure then next one is outstanding rent 15000 as per adjustment part b then capital accounts that is adjustment a for x that is rupees 180000 y rupees 90000 And J rupees sixty thousand. That is total amounted to three lakh thirty thousand. Then current accounts. That is for X the rupees seventeen thousand nine hundred forty. And for Y that is rupees six nine six zero. And these two total rupees twenty four thousand nine hundred. And the both these childs totaling is rupees four lakh fourteen thousand nine hundred. And this is the. final answer